First thing I do want to make clear is we all got to accept the fact that whatever we have going on in our mind is what fills our heart. That's what fills our heart. So if all you think about all day is hate, the bullshit, that's what's going to consume your life. So you got to really go hard. How dedicated are you? How dedicated are you? How much are you willing to commit? My mother from Mississippi, my father from Florida. I know what it's like to really have to work hard. I seen it. I seen it. I saw people living three, four houses down from me. They father had a 500 Mercedes SEL with the windshield wiper on the headlights. Not the fucking windshield, the headlights. My dad had a Buick. I say, damn, what I got to do to ride in one of those? But guess what? Whatever we got to do, I'm willing to do it. I'm going to sacrifice it all. So if you want to do business with a boss, you got to be ready to sacrifice it all. Because in the real world, your goals don't give a fuck about your excuses. I've been in a room with multimillionaires and been speaking to myself saying, if this motherfucker could do it, I know I can do it. So really, a lot of times it only comes down to you being the best version of yourself. You got to be the best version of yourself. That begins with your health. That begins with your mindset. What are you willing to commit? I'm the type of individual, um, if I came here today and I was in the audience, I, I couldn't leave without introducing and getting to know at the minimum of 20 people. Who in here has exchanged numbers with 10 people? Raise your hand if you exchange numbers with 10 people. Okay, you're on the right pace. Make sure it's at least 20. 20 at the minimum. Because that's what be becoming successful is about. Opportunities present themselves. I may not know what the fuck going on, but as soon as I walk out the room, hey, Grant, what you think of this? What you think of this? And you got to have that team. And you got to make sure you there for that person. You could call me any time of the night, brother. Anything you need, I'm going to do my best to be there for you. you. I've been getting game from you a long time, Grant. Thank you, man. You know, we done got together before. This ain't our first time doing this. That's Maybe right. on this level, but we done got together. We, we got to do more game. stuff together. Though. Right, right. Let's go. I'm and that's what big. I love about the 10X. The 10X teach you how to really hustle. And, you know, here on this platform, one plus two equals 12. Why is money important? Oh, man, it, it, that's the foundation of your last name. That's the foundation. That's how I get up and hustle every day, like my life depending on it. I'm a champion. When people didn't see you, but you knew for sure you were going to be this megastar, and they didn't see you, what did you do like, to st stay in the game and stay in the hustle? And like I told myself I couldn't quit. I told myself this was going to happen. This is destiny. Whatever is really burning in your heart, you got to really believe in yourself. Even when nobody else won't. You got to believe in yourself and say, I'm not stopping. Yeah, I, I won't stop for nothing. I really wouldn't stop. And I told myself I'd die before I stopped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the level. That's of, the only way somebody can stop you is they got to kill you. That I have for what we do. Everywhere we go, all the brands, all my partners, it's a part of my uniform. If I sold cattle, I would have had on a fucking cowboy hat and said, hee haw. So what was your first big break? When, when do you like, okay, I just crossed over and, and did something major? Okay, uh, January 06. That's when I released Every Day I'm Hustling, my first certified single, my first hit record. And I really feel like, you know, something that I really spoke into existence because I really meant that. Every day we gonna get up and hustle. Every day, let's get up. You dropped three albums consecutive, bang, bang, bang in 24 months. Why, why so hard, so much at one time? Because for one, I'm inspired. I'm inspired by the world. I accept reality. A lot of times as entrepreneurs, you gotta have somebody real around you. 
you got to have somebody, even when you winning and you think you're doing it real big, tell you, you know you ain't really did shit yet. You know, you applaud your homie's success and all that, but uh, on the scale of what's going on in the real world, this fucking trillionaires being developed before our eyes right now. That's the time we in. That's the space we in. So it's cool, you know. I feel cool, my little 250, 300, you know. But guess what? I remember that. what that was like. You feel me? I remember that. You feel me? <laughs> So it's like, yo, it, it's like, you know, when you, when you come from the mud, getting 100K is your goal. Yeah. Once you get that first 100K, a million is your goal. Once I got my first million, I realized it's the same distance to 10 million from 100K that it was. 100K to a million, 1 million to 10. It's the same distance. I just got to go get it. And I just refuse to stop. And I still won't. This is still my passion. This is what I love to do. 250, 300 million. Right. How does Rick Ross go to 3 billion? Let's just map it out right now. Oh, me and you. you. I'm going to be your coach right now. How we do. I'm going to help you out. How we go to 3 billion after you touch a certain amount is you continue to push yourself. Now, this is one of my rules. I don't share this with many. I leave no money on the table. What does that mean? What that means is, if on a Friday night I may charge you, I shouldn't even, I don't know if I should say this, but I will. Fuck. Do it. On a Friday night, I may charge you 150K to come to your venue and perform. Oh yeah, I, I, I know where this is going. Right? On a Tuesday, I may not be doing nothing. On Tuesday, I may take 75 from you. Right? right. right? Instead of us just sitting around doing nothing, let's go get some money. Because you know what? Over here, at Rose Enterprises is we will not let that two dollars walk in and leave because how many times will you allow that to happen over a five-year period how much money have you allowed to walk out of your fucking establishment because of another small amount of money that you could have easily had them tell hey I need that next week matter of fact next month give me that other dollar yeah we gotta find a way to keep the money guys how important is it for the artist and the business person to promote? Because a lot of artists fail right here, and most businesses, number one reason they fail. You got to make, make sure your brand, every day you got to find a way to connect with new consumers. Whatever it is you're doing, you have to connect with new consumers. Every day I wake up 6.30 in the morning and I begin that. You go to my Insta story, I'm on Instagram, whatever it is I'm doing, I'm talking about what's going on, and we connecting the people to the brands because this is our life. Like I said, whatever it is you do, it has to become a part of your uniform. Every time your friends see you, whatever it is you, wherever you going, they should hear and see what's going on. At first they gonna say he's a little weird, she's a little weird. They doing too much. That's what they say until they accept the fact, they say, wow, this motherfucker's confident. We gotta rep every day, rep your shit every day. You know what? How I much like? do you like real estate? I love real estate. Why? Wow. I, I love real estate because one, growing up, nobody I knew had it. It was just a discussion. It was like hearing rumors when you heard, oh man, he owned two acres. Two acres? The fuck he do to get two acres? That's how it was. So I knew that would always drive me. So that first piece of land I got, it was 280, no, the, the estate was 280 acres. You know, I own multiple homes. Um, you know, that's- 30 restaurants. Most. Yeah. I stopped counting the restaurants. Yeah. Yeah, I stopped counting. What does 10X mean to you? 10X mean, you know, times 10. When it come to get money, that's how they multiply your money when, once you get to a certain level. When you create certain ventures, that's how they look at the value of your company. You know, so I look at it different ways. When I see 10X, it's 10 different ways you should look at it. What will we be 10 years from now? You know what our value really is? Whatever we got right now times 10. That's it. Well, do you think, do you think, has it been 10 times harder than you thought it would be? I want it to be 10 times harder. We want the challenge. You can only make history when you're doing some great shit. Yeah. 
If you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing, it's easy to be forgotten.